Hello everyone, I'm Marco and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas holiday and I wish you all a happy new year. I apologise if I haven't uploaded any videos lately but I've been really really busy. So I decided to make a longer video this time, to kind of make up for the absence of videos. Also I'm really excited to announce that I'll be opening my own Etsy store, where you can find prints of some of my drawings and also merch of the Dead Real Dinosaur series, including fossil replicas that I'll be making and featuring on the channel, as well as some figures maybe in the future, so stay tuned, and I'll keep you updated. You can also help me out through Patreon if you like, the funds will help me grow the channel and improve all of my content. Now let's get started with the video. So some time ago I uploaded a video where I made a mould and a cast of a Jurassic World T-Rex toy head that came packaged with a shower gel. I was quite impressed by the quality of the sculpt because it looks just like the one in the film. Overall the shape is very very accurate. Maybe the texture isn't great but I think overall it does look pretty close. It's one of those toys that if you put in the water it sucks all the water up and if you squeeze it it squirts it all out. It kind of reminds me of the old school Dilophosaurus toy made by Kenner back in the day. It's basically the same sort of concept. Anyway, I made a silicon box mould and made a cast with fast cast resin and gave it a nice accurate paint job with acrylic paint. You can find it on my channel if you like. So basically as soon as I saw that, as soon as I made that cast, I thought oh, I really, I really want to make a body for that at some point. So here we go. For this video I'll be making a body for that head. As I usually do for my other figures, I use masking tape for the base sculpt. I made a tutorial about how to use the masking tape in the Spinosaurus video. So what I do is I roll up some masking tape and put it on the perimeter of the drawing. The image you can see on the desk right now is a render I made based on the Jurassic World T-Rex. So I always try and make sure never to go perfectly on the edge of the drawing because over the masking tape we're going to be using epoxy putty to sculpt. So if I put the masking tape right on the edge then the epoxy putty will make the T-Rex look really fat, a bit like the first T-Rex I made on the channel. The next step is filling the void, the empty space, with rolls of masking tape. So you've got to fill all that space up and also bulk it up a bit, like especially around the belly. I'm covering the first side with masking tape so it doesn't stick all over the place. So once you've done that then you turn it around and do exactly the same thing on the other side. Once both the sides are done, then you can cover the whole thing with masking tape. Then you do exactly the same thing for the arms and the legs. Thank you. 
be sure not to forget to put the toes on. You can start putting the parts together using super glue and then masking tape and the whole thing again. Now it's time to attach the head. I'm attaching it again with super glue and then masking tape. There we go, it's still top heavy, but it will stand eventually, thanks to the rigidity of the epoxy putty. To make the whole texturing process easier, I made some texture pads. It's a two-part silicon putty, which is very, very useful if you want to replicate some textures. Basically, you mix the two parts together and then press them against the texture that you want to replicate. That will basically make a print or a mold of the texture. So when the silicon hardens, then you can press it on the clay or the epoxy putty and it will reproduce that texture. But at the moment, we're covering the whole figure with millipart epoxy putty. This material is what will give life to the figure. It's where we'll be sculpting all the muscles and the skin textures on.
I'd like to thank my friend Nathaniel for providing me this wonderful piece for reference. This is a, it's a really cool, this is a cast of the maquette used in the film made by Stan Winston. It is absolutely brilliant for reference. I'm also using the Sega T-Rex, um, as you can see on the bottom left corner. It's a tiny little sculpture, but it's packed with detail. Honestly, it's got such amazing texture, that little figure. I do recommend you pick that up if you find it anywhere, maybe on eBay or online somewhere. Here I'm using a handy sculpting tool to sculpt an impression of the ribs. Here comes a really fun part to do. With that same tool, I'm sculpting the crocodilian texture on the belly. Once all the shapes are done, then I use the texture pads. So I'm reproducing the same skin texture on the head onto the body, thanks to those pads.
I decided to sculpt the figure in different parts, so the bust, the tail and the legs separately, because you can only sculpt the epoxy putty on a limited time. So after about an hour after it's been mixed together, it starts going a bit rubbery and it's quite hard to sculpt then. It hardens up completely after about 4 hours. So that's the bust and the tail done, as well as the arms, now we're just missing the legs. So you cover that with epoxy putty again. Now with that tool again, I'm sculpting the scoots on the feet. After the figure is completely hard, then you can prime it. And then it's ready for painting. So I always start with those colours, base colours, blue, red, yellow, black and white. And it's very important, it's crucial you get really good reference pictures. So I'm starting with a base colour, a beige base colour, all over the figure. See, I'm going off screen so I can blow dry the whole figure to speed up the process. Then I dry brush some darker browns. So I do a light brown and then a dark brown on top. You want to do that dry brushing on the top of the figure, so on the top of the head, on the top of the neck, on the back, and on the tail. Then I mixed a really, really dark brown and I started doing all the detail around the eye and around the mouth on the snout. I rarely use straight black because I feel like, I kind of feel like that kills the colours a bit. It dulls everything down a little bit. I always want a bit of colour showing, even in the darker spots. For the snout in particular, I found that reference picture on the, um, on the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom sticker album, really, really useful. There's a nice render there that shows the T-Rex head and the snout in particular in all of its glory. You can see all the detail. I also made a Buck Rex head sculpt, if you remember that, I uploaded that video a few weeks ago, maybe a, maybe a couple of months ago. I made a mould of that, so I'll probably sell some copies of that head sculpt on Etsy if you're interested. All the links are in the description by the way, for my Patreon page and the Etsy page too.
So I'm giving the belly a nice white dry brush, and then I'm doing a really dark brown wash over it. With that same dark brown, I'm doing some, some very subtle stripes all down the body. Once painted, I covered it in satin lacquer. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe and be sure to rate the video. I'll see you in the next one.